Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. My name's Arcus and today we're filming again. Whoa, crazy. <laughs> uh, for Christmas this year, I got a new phone that has a nice camera and I'm trying out this whole filming thing again. But since I bought such an expensive phone for Christmas, I wasn't able to get any new art supplies. So what to draw with? Luckily, a couple years ago, I bought a pack of 21 Sharpie colors. So today, we'll be trying out the Sharpie challenge. So starting off, I swatched the paper with all the different colors so that I can see what the actual color is because the color does not match the cap at all. Like there's those two purples um, that have the same cap and are, well one's purple and one's pink so I don't know what happened there. <laughs> now if you count the sharpies that are displayed on the screen right now there's actually 24 sharpies and this is because i uh would bring my sharpies to high school um to work on projects with them you know like posters or whatever and oftentimes you know there were other people working with me or working on their own posters next to us or you know and they would ask to borrow the sharpies and I'd say sure and by the end of the day I would have either lost a sharpie or gained a couple of sharpies <laughs> because people just have sharpies or they'd find sharpies somewhere else in the room and then assume that they were mine and put them in the like the box that I kept them in so I actually uh, have well there are 24 sharpie colors not 21 even though I initially bought 21 so um yeah, that's that's why there's there's more sharpies than 21 even though I said 21. <laughs> So I previously sketched out ideas for this character because I saw the super saturated bright colors and I was like, I need to do someone, I need to create someone who has enough, you know, spunk or uh, sass in the character to match those bright colors. So I wanted to make someone that has a lot of like angles to them because I don't know, angles Feel like there's a lot of energy in them and I made this character this girl kind of almost rocker ish in the outfit in the hair and you know she's listening to music and it's it's so that I have a reason to use all these super bright colors and the character would meet like the character would also be super bright to go alongside those colors like they, they had to go hand in hand when I was looking at all the colors I had out before me, I knew that they weren't really going to match <laughs> and the, there was no color scheme I could really follow. It was just going to be a bunch of bright colors. <laughs> so I also knew that I couldn't actually feasibly use all of the colors because it was going to be so such a like cacophony of color on the page already that if I used every single one it would just be way way too much although it was a little bit over the top from the beginning so I was aware of that and I chose not to use all of the colors. I struggled quite a bit to come up with an outfit for this character. I'm not very creative when it comes to fashion. I tend to draw the same fashion on people so I actually looked up you know rock outfits or something like that and a lot of outfits I saw had fishnet tights and I thought they are absolutely adorable and you know it, you could have some of them ripped at the knee or whatever and I would have loved to draw on them but unfortunately the sharpies even though I was able to get to a point much smaller than I thought if I pressed really lightly though it was just harder to control at that point I couldn't make them thin enough to have any actual way of drawing fishnet tights without just kind of coloring her leg in, in like black or something, you know? So it 
I, I had to, even though I saw a lot of outfits with that and I thought that was a really, really cool addition to an outfit and I wouldn't have minded to have it on her outfit, I couldn't do that. I had to find something else. Um, and eventually I think the, the outfit uh, turned out pretty cute and I liked how it all came together in the end. One thing I was pretty worried about going into this challenge was how Sharpies leave streaks because I feel like Sharpies are kind of known for their streakiness or not just Sharpies but any water-based marker. It doesn't go down smoothly and they also don't blend in any way and they kind of can rip up the paper if you do too much of them and I didn't know how to, what technique to utilize to make sure that I had as smooth of a color, like a block of color as possible, but somehow, I don't know if it was just the paper I was using was thick enough to handle them or something, um, I was using uh, my sketchbook paper, which is a Canson mixed media sketchbook, but somehow the colors went down really, really smoothly and really nicely actually, and I really appreciated that and was pleased to see that it was happening. Um, I don't know, I, I wasn't doing anything special, I was just, you know, drawing lines back and forth, but it just, it turned out pretty good, so I was happy with that, and I could even do a little bit of shading with the Sharpies, the, the paper handled it very well, so that was a major plus.
so I wanted to add a little bit of color in the background as well or, or something in the background to make it a little more interesting and since she's listening to music like from a stereo and she's a rocker I kind of I, I did a circle with lines coming off of the circle to kind of symbolize um, and you know in animations when they show it like pumping out music it like there's like circles from I don't know if I'm explaining this well but it's just like imitating that stereo speaker and as if the sound waves were coming off of it in in circles as well which is what i tried to do in the background uh with some of the lightest colors of sharpies i have the most pastel ones and it was going so well until on the bottom right i messed up the circle really bad <laughs> and the effect was like completely ruined and now it's just this malformed circle behind her So in the end, I was really happy with the results. I really enjoyed this drawing. I thought the Sharpies worked wonderfully, way better than I was expecting them to work. Like I was very pleasantly surprised and I'm, I'm pretty happy, except for the circle in the back, I'm pretty happy with the results of this drawing. So if you like what you saw today, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see more, I upload twice a month on the first and third Fridays of each month so be on the lookout for more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye!